Some events simply cannot happen on Earth, but they can happen on other planets. Since humanity tends to see itself as the center of the universe, we naturally assume that these things are physically impossible on other planets, but the opposite is true. Depending on the location, the temperature conditions, and other physical laws, some things would be possible on other planets that would be unthinkable for us. In fact, the universe is much stranger, more wondrous, and scarier than most of us know. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Shadow on Earth versus Shadow on Other Planets Your shadow on Earth is always alone, and you are used to your shadow always accompanying you when the sun shines sufficiently. Although it changes its position and orientation during the day, it is always there as soon as you leave the house. Other people also have their own shadow, but this is not a universal thing that we would experience on another planet. The only reason our bodies cast shadows is because our primary source of light is the sun and our Earth does not orbit around any other star. But what would happen if there were two suns? A planet orbiting two stars would look similar to Tatooine from Star Wars, with two bright sunsets per day and two shadows instead of one for each individual. Until the discovery of the planet Kepler-16b, a place that orbits two different stars, this was just science fiction. If you were suddenly teleported to the surface of this planet, you would probably die from the extreme temperatures and the lack of oxygen in the air to breathe. Suppose you were teleported in a protective suit that could help you survive. You would experience your body casting two different shadows. A new friend for your shadow that is always lonely here on Earth. Incredibly Deep Ocean Another very bizarre place in the universe is a planet that, according to recent research, is completely covered with water. It's an oceanic planet called GJ-1214b. The planet is many times larger than Earth, which makes the Pacific Ocean on our planet look like a small puddle in comparison. Although water covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface, it makes up only 0.005% of the total mass of the Earth. On GJ-1214b, however, water can make up to 10% of the total mass of the planet. This means that the entire planet is covered by an ocean that is hundreds of kilometers deep and thousands of kilometers wide. Our own ocean extends just 11 kilometers deep, and we have already discovered horrible monsters with huge teeth and oversized eyes that live in the deep sea. So you can let your imagination run wild about what fantastic monsters might exist in an ocean that is over 10 times deeper than our own. Who knows what could be lurking below if you were ever to be shipwrecked there. But scientists already know that at the bottom of this vast ocean, hundreds of kilometers below the surface, the pressure would be so incredibly strong that the water at the bottom would turn into an exotic form of ice known as Ice 7. This ice would not be like the ice you know on Earth. It is not cold, but remains in a solid form without minus temperatures. Of course, this does not happen on Earth but the water on Earth needs temperatures below zero to do so. Stone Rain The weather on Earth is often severe and unpredictable, but compared to other, more extreme places in the universe, it is relatively unspectacular. Take the planet Koro 7b, for example, where it rains stones and rocks instead of water. This is because about half of the planet is red-hot at 2,600 degrees Celsius, while the other half is much cooler at 177 degrees Celsius. And just as water evaporates on Earth and condenses into clouds, so on this planet, rocks condense into rock clouds. These strange rock clouds then rain liquid rock or magma back onto the surface of the planet. However, since the atmosphere is cooler the higher it rises, and the temperature on the cool side is much lower, the magma rain often hardens in the air into rock before it hits the ground. This planet seems to be the closest to hell in terms of its hostility to life. Incredibly fast winds. 
another planet stands out due to an even more bizarre climate. This planet, known as HD 189773b, is located 63 light years away from us, is slightly larger than Jupiter, and looks breathtakingly beautiful from space. But behind this beauty lies a terrible secret. It looks like this because the planet's atmosphere is mainly composed of silicate particles. The winds on the planet can blow at 5,400 miles per hour, which is an incredible 2 kilometers per second, or 7 times the speed of sound. Temperatures can reach up to 930 degrees Celsius. Most frightening of all, however, is that glass can shatter on this planet with its extremely violent winds of 2 kilometers per second. This is so fast and frightening that if such a storm were to occur on Earth, it would sweep across the entire planet at the equator in just 5 hours and 35 minutes and leave a trail of devastation from broken glass. Just hot air? But even the storms on this planet pale in comparison to the most powerful wind known to date in our entire universe. The wind on planet HD 189733b. This is a gas planet, one side of which always faces its star, where temperatures can reach scorching 966 degrees Celsius. But the temperature on the dark side, which faces away from its star, is still very hot with 688 degrees Celsius. So how can it be that the side facing away from the star is still so hot? The answer is a devastating, extremely fast wind, possibly up to 22,000 miles per hour, which corresponds to 10 kilometers per second, or almost 29 times the speed of sound. For comparison, the fastest wind ever recorded on Earth occurred during a devastating tornado in Oklahoma in 1999, where only 484 kilometers per hour was recorded, 73 times less than the nightmare-like storm on this huge planet that is still raging as you watch this video. If you were to make a kite and let it fly through the air, it could have flown around the world in just an hour and eight minutes if it traveled at the same speed as this storm. Learning to fly on the planet Titan But perhaps the most interesting place in the universe is in our immediate vicinity. To be more precise, the planet is called Titan and is one of Saturn's moons. It has such a dense atmosphere that until 2005, we did not even know what its surface looked like. This much is certain. Saturn's moon Titan is a very bizarre place. It has an atmosphere, rivers, and lakes, and it rains just like on Earth. But the temperature is so cold, negative 179 degrees Celsius, that the water becomes as hard as rock and the chemical methane is present in a liquid state. The clouds, rivers, and lakes on the moon consist of methane, which is the main component of natural gas. Only 20% of Titan's surface has ever been mapped, but it's estimated that there is a hundred times more natural gas and oil in this region alone than on the entire Earth. There's so much gas on Titan that it literally rains gas. This could be the understated dream of an oil tycoon or a Saudi sheik, and perhaps the best way to promote the facilitation of space travel is to inform the countries of the world about the advantages of the planet Titan. Another curious fact, we could theoretically fly on Titan without an airplane. The atmosphere is thick enough and gravity is weak enough that if you attached a pair of wings to your arms and made a running jump into the air, you could actually fly around the moon like a bird, taking in all the strange sights of rivers and lakes. Of course, you would need a suit to protect yourself, but you could still fly like in your dreams and achieve something that is impossible here on Earth. There are over 1,000 planets that we have discovered in our solar system so far. Do you believe that the statements of science are trustworthy and reliable? Or do you have to see it with your own eye to believe it? Do you think that one day we could live on another planet far away from Earth? And would you take such a risk? Leave us a comment below.